Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Sinquanta Cox Smith of www.sinquantacoxsmith.com. Smile for me. So today I am back with another pick monkey tutorial and I am going to show you guys how to create a t-shirt design in pick monkey. So of course I told you guys, I want to make sure I bring you guys different ways to design and different tools to use. So today we'll be using pick monkey to create a t-shirt design. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified every time that I drop a new video. So now we're just going to go over to pick monkey and I am going to, um, go ahead and hit create new. I'm going to go to blank canvas and I am going to put in the dimensions 5,000 by 5,000. Now note that if you are uploading to merch, of course you will want to go ahead and put in the dimensions that you need to get started, which would be 4,500 by 5,400. But if you are creating a design for your own website or anything else, I normally use 5,000 by 5,000. Oh, but of course they don't do that size on PicMonkey. See, this is the learning curve that I have to figure out of what size can I do over here on PicMonkey? She's Louise. So I can do 4,000 by 4,000. Let's see if we can do 4,500. Cause now I want to test it out to see like where we can go with this. So I can't do 45. So let's try 44. So this is things that you guys need to know as well. Like I said, um, I've used this in the past. So I think it's, it's looking like 4,000. 4, yeah, it's looking like 4,000. So we're going to have to do 4,000 by 4,000. Not sure if that's going to work on a lot of things, but I just wanted to be able to provide an alternative. So we're going to go with 4,000 by 4,000 and we're just going to hit make it. So that was definitely something that you all should know. Um, also, we can probably go a little bit deeper into the actual system um, to see different things about, you know, how big of a canvas you can create with pig monkey. I won't do that, but you guys can go ahead and do your own, um, do your own, uh, research. Okay. So we're going to go over to graphics and I'm going to stick with the Valentine's day theme, or maybe I'll do St. Patrick's just to see what they have. So let me look up like shamrock. Look at that. So they have some four leaf clovers. So see, and I can flip this. Is that rotate or flip? Let's rotate. I want to flip it. Can I flip it? Oh, there it goes. Flip horizontally. Okay. So I'm going to close this up. You know where this is going, right? <laughs> oh, you know, God, you guys know where this is going, right? So they have some different font options here. So let me see if there's anything. Um, Let's see what this looks like. So, in effect, it's multiple fonts. See if I can ungroup it. So, can I ungroup it? Yep. So, I can ungroup it. And don't touch my. Shamrocks. So let's see what color we want this to be. I want a, a greenish color. So let's play around with this. Or I might just go ahead and do black. Let's see. All right, let's go back up to the color. Let's see what color. I really want to know what color that is inside of there. Now I know. Ha, copy that. Go back to the shamrock. Get the color. Put that one in there. Try this again. There we go. Why 
can I get the color to go in? Oh, it is. Oh, I think I know why, but that kind of looks cool. Don't touch my shamrocks. Okay, I want to make this bigger though. Let's see. So I think this one has an effect on it. So you see that it has an effect. Maybe it has some type of an effect on it that is causing me not to see this in a different color. But I think because I did not do this myself, maybe that effect is already on there and kind of like stuck. So that is a lesson <laughs> um, for all of us that if it comes with an effect, it might be a little, you know, different to change. I do want to change the spacing with this. Um, and a little bit of the height. So definitely probably want to change that color to that inner green as well so this is not the best design either I don't like it don't touch my shamrocks okay let's see if we can add anything else to this some graphics um what would be something like little hands let's see if they have hands I want to go back with like some St. Patrick's Day stuff. So they have a little, a little black shamrock. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that. I think I'm just going to leave it as that. So don't touch my shamrocks. So I'm going to copy all of this was going to make it bigger but I think that looks pretty decent so it just says don't touch my shamrock not the best design but I just wanted to you know test it out and see hey can I make a design here and yes you can so I've helped you notice that you can create a design here in pig monkey and we size it up and make sure it's in the middle and you can resize it to um, the size that you need but remember that we now know <laughs> it has a smart resize app if you have the Pick Monkey Pro, but we now know that we can't do 5,000 by 5,000. So this might not be ideal for Amazon merch, but it may work well for just doing t-shirts for your own design. Now, if the quality is bad, then this might not be a great option and it might be something that you should just use for things like the journal or other little small stuff like social media things that you can use it for. So I wanted to make sure, again, like I said, that you guys have the option to create your products on different softwares. This might be easier for you than Canva. So if it is, just know that it is an option. It's not gonna solve all of your problems, but it is definitely an option. So I will be back with another video soon. Again, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. And until next time, I love you more than love this video. Peace.